factory, administration, selling and distribution, all put together, we call it as overhead. Rent, depreciation, irrespective of your strength, irrespective of your business, irrespective of your income, you are supposed to pay that fixed charges. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adasa here. Let's share in Vidyashram First Grade College, the temple of excellence. And now we are discussing topic called your cost accounting, session 1, unit 5. Under unit 5, we are discussing topic called overhead. Now, almost done with your four units, like first unit will be your cost sheet basic, and the second one, elements of cost sheet, that is nothing but your cost sheet problems and the third unit will be your material and we are done with material and the fourth one it is labor we are done with the labor topic also and the fifth unit is called as overhead overhead in this there are many subtopics are there one by one i'll explain you and you will understand better so what are the overhead cost before i go to overhead cost under overhead, what are the topics you are going to get for your examination? Under overhead, we have three, three subtopics like first will be overhead basic problems first. Means primary distribution. Once you are done with overhead primary distribution, the next part will be overhead secondary distribution. What is that? Overhead secondary distribution. Once you're done with overhead secondary distribution and the last topic we are going to discuss is ABC analysis, clear? ABC analysis is all about theory part. You will not get any problems from ABC analysis, but we have problems on overhead distribution. Overhead distribution, as I told you, two subtopics. One will be what? Yes, it will be primary distribution and secondary distribution. I'll explain you one by one what is primary, what is secondary while doing the particular problems. Now, what are the overhead costs? Overhead means, remember, it is always indirect. Indirect. Overhead cost, it is nothing but indirect cost. What is indirect cost like? Cost sheet, you have done three things. What are those? factory overhead, office and administration overhead, and the last one, selling and distribution overhead. All these three we call it as overhead. Now, overhead cost are those costs that is not related directly on the production activity and are therefore considered as indirect cost that have to be paid even if there is no production and Examples include rent payable, utilities payable, insurance payable, salary payable, office stuff, office supplies, all comes under your overhead. Like in the cost sheet already you have learned what are the overheads like. Under factory what will come? Any rent paid, fuel charges, uh, electricity, your repair charges, everything comes under that. Electricity will come under office but power charges comes under factory. Under office and administration, all your printing and stationery, salary, where your postage charges, audit fees, whatever tax you paid, uh, your printing charges, any rent paid, any repair of your furniture, all this comes under office and administration. What is the last one? Selling and distribution. Under selling and distribution, we go for advertisement. We go for uh, the your transportation from one place to another, that is carriage outward. And we go for some conveyances. We go for commission to the agent. We go for go down rent. You, we go for your showroom rent. We go for salesman transport expenses. Conveyance, all this comes under your overhead. Your factory, administration, selling and distribution, all put together, we call it as overhead. Head. Hope you are clear. Yes, but in the examination, they will not ask you what is overhead and give examples for overhead. Till now, they never ask so that you will not get any meaning of overhead in your examination. Only you are supposed to do problems and I'll tell you what kind of theory they will ask you under the unit called overhead. Next, 
And now overhead, we have three types of overhead. One will be fixed overhead, variable overhead, semi-variable. Already I explained you what is fixed, what is variable, what is semi-variable while doing cost sheet. That's why I don't go in depth, just I'll give you briefly what is fixed. As I told you, I'm running a tuition for some classes. Whatever rent I pay to the tuition, that is called fixed because even though there is one student, even though there is 100 students, I have to pay fixed rent for every month. That is called your fixed variable. Examples are like rent, depreciation, irrespective of your strength, irrespective of your business, irrespective of your income, you are supposed to pay that fixed charges. Now, Next will be it is variable overhead. What do you mean by variable overhead? Variable overhead in the sense it is varying in nature. Like example they have given like shipping expenses, advertisement cost. Now just assume that advertisement cost is a fixed no. Why? Because depends on the product. Just assume that it is one rupee chocolate. Will you give close together advertisement for that? No. If it is 100 rupees worth, pen, will you give close together uh, advertisement charges? No. Mobile worth rupees 20,000, will you spend close together? Yes. For mobile, we spend close together advertisement charges. But 5 rupees spent, 10 rupees spent, we don't give much advertisement on that because the cost is very less. So similarly, the variable means it varies. Like as I told you, the same tuition example, I have one student, I'm supposed to give him one book. There are two students, how many books I have to give? Two. If there are 10 students, I'm supposed to give them 10 books. What is the cost of one book? What is the cost of two? What is the cost of 10 books? Depends upon number of students I'm supposed to invest. I'm supposed to spend money for books. Hope you are clear. Yes, these are called as cost of variable overhead. Then the last one we call it as semi-variable. Up to some extent fixed. Thereafter it is variable. Again I'll repeat. Up to some extent it is fixed. Thereafter it is variable. What is the best example? I gave you electricity. Just assume that Fixed 120 rupees you are supposed to pay. That is fixed. Even though you are at home, complete one month your home is locked. Still you are supposed to pay the minimum charges of 120. What is semi-variable? If you are used, how many units you have used? Assume that you have used 100 units. 100 into 8 rupees plus 800 per unit cost is 8. So it will be how much? 920 is your expenditure. What is your expenditure? 920 is your expenditure. So these all we call it as, these all we call it as your types of overhead cost. Hope you are clear. Your types of overhead cost we got. This is your semi-variable because up to some extent it is fixed. Even though you are used or not, you are supposed to pay. Later, how many units you have used depends on you are supposed to pay your money. That is called semi-variable. Then, basic allocation. So, oh, this is very important. Every problem you do, you must know this for your solving the problem. And uh, apart from that, in your examination, as I told you, you will get one five mark question from overhead. What is that? This is the one you will get for five mark. Clear? This is a compulsory question. In the first main itself, for five marks, you will get allocation of overhead. How the question is asked? Very simple. The debit side, whatever in the first column, it will be asked in the question paper. What is there in the second column that you are supposed to answer? Like, they will ask you factory rent. What is your answer? Your answer must be floor area. They will ask you advertisement. What is your answer? Sales. They will ask you what is canteen expenses. Your answer is number of employees. Like this, you are supposed to answer. The left side will be your question. The right side will be your 
and so remember this now in this what is this allocation allocation in the sense very simple in this factory rent on the base of floor area just assume that we'll take an example of vidyashram college itself assume that we have this college first second third fourth this we call it as first floor second floor third floor first floor this is called as ground floor clear yes assume that we are running pu college as well as degree college we are running pu as well as degree now what happens pu classes will happen in the first floor and second floor what about degree college the degree classes will happen in the second third floor and fourth floor now assume that we are paying 10000 rent per month how much we are paying 10000 rent per month now the whole building how much we are paying 10000 now in this 1 2 3 4 5 floors are there now if pu management is different degree management is different what happens whatever rent they are paying they are supposed to distribute because pu people cannot pay 10000 whole amount why because in the same building degree classes are also running so the degree people will not pay complete 10000 why because pu classes are also running hope you are clear yes so by keeping all this in mind you are supposed to calculate now what happens you are paying 10000 rent how many floors degree they have used one and two and even admin office belongs to what both so we can call it as 2.5 two floors and half of the admin similarly a degree pu college two floors and half of the admin so two and a half floor for degree and two and a half floor area for pu now what is the rent 10000 how they will distribute this people will pay 5000 this people will pay 5000 why because rent whatever 10000 rent it is distributed in what basis whatever floor area they have used they have used two and off they have used two and off two and off is to two and off 5000 5000 they have shared that is called your floor rent always distributed on the base of floor area now second advertisement on the base of what advertisement on the base of sales why because for what purpose you do advertisement to sell the product that's why advertisement on the base of sales canteen expenses like there is a huge big college the crowd is more then what happens the canteen expense will be distributed according to number of students similarly canteen expenses on the base of number of employees then power kilowatts power kilowatt carriage inward inward means what within the premises so it is on purchases depreciation on what asset value of the asset insurance value of the stock supervisor charges number of employees manager salary number of employees staff recreation number of employee maintenance value of asset indirect material it is a on direct material like this we are supposed to distribute hope you are clear good so these are the calculation you are supposed to remember like factory on floor area advertisement sales canteen number of employees power kilowatt and carriage inward purchases and one more i wanted to add the 13th one carriage outward remember carriage outward on the basis of sales carriage inward on the basis of purchases and carriage outward on the basis of sales these are the things you are supposed to remember not only for solving your problem for solving problem also very important along with that five mark theory also will be asked on this so this chart very important for your five mark theory as well as your 15 mark problem clear 
what is the primary distribution what is the secondary distribution of order everything i'll explain you while doing your problems that will be in the next session we are going to solve problems on overhead calculation easiest topic easily you can understand what is overhead mean what are the overhead cost types of overhead cost your types of overhead cost again the third type your basic allocation helpful for your examination as well as your theory so this is all about your today's session hope you understood what do you mean by your overhead cost your unit 5 in the next session we'll go with complete problems so don't skip any classes of cost accounting thank you